Once you click on the link to the Quick Guide webinar, it'll take you to a web page called Link Web App. What you want to do is click this Sign On from the Organizer's Company. This will allow you to put in your username and password uh, from St. Petersburg College. What you want to start with is admin and then use the forward slash to log in. That's really important. And then go ahead and click join the meeting. When I click join the meeting, it will automatically go ahead and install the Link Web App plugin. The first time you do that, this is what will that this is what you need to do. You'll notice that the plugin is starting to download down here, so it's going to be finishing and installing the plugin. Now I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. It'll ask me to run. I click on run. And we'll go ahead and install the Microsoft Link web app plugin. Now, one of the things that's going to happen in using Chrome is if you look up here, it'll say the plugins were blocked on this page. So it then it will not finish. You must click on that and click always allow plugins on link to.spcollege.edu and then go ahead and click done. When you do that, you'll get a page that will come up and it will say Microsoft Link Web Plugin and checkbox always allow the plugin for this domain and then go ahead and click allow. And when you do that, you'll also get something on the firewall. Go ahead and click on public here and click allow. And once you do that, you'll be joined in the meeting. You'll only have to do that one time. The next time you come to a quick guide webinar on Chrome, you'll be able to get into the meeting with no issues.